the book that I'll be reviewing today was a book that was given to me by my aunt and I didn't really have a lot of high expectations for it I just said oh it was another book but after reading it and reading it like multiple times um this book is phenomenal it is just a work of art and it is called please look after mom written by the south korean author kung suk shin this book was published in 2008 um in south korea and it was written in korean uh within months of releasing this millions and millions of copies were sold and it was so successful that they translated to english and they published the en english version in 2011 and it's seen so many success. Um, <clears throat> it has seen so much success um, because of it, because of how phenomenal this book is. As you can tell by the title, this book is about a mother. Um, her and her husband, the mother and the father, they go to visit their um, children who live in a city area and they use the subway to get there. And on their way in the subway, when they get off, the mom disappears. And that's basically how the story starts. Um, after that, the children and the father desperately try to like find her, they try to get the information, they already plan out what to do and how they're gonna do it and what, sh what they should do to help find their mother. Um, but in the process of like trying to figure out, um, like putting posters and, um, putting out like information about their mother, they realize that they don't really know much about their mother. Um, the story is a lot of, you know, flashbacks and memories going from present to past a lot. Um, but it's done very, very beautifully. It flows well. It blends perfectly. So it doesn't really have like, you know, harsh um, transitions. It's not like quick, oh, past, now we're in the present. Um, no, it, it's very well written. The author took, uh, took her time making sure that everything flowed with each other very well. Um, <clears throat> what was interesting about this book was um, the different perspectives it has. Um, you get a the perspective from the mother's children uh her four children and then you have a different perspective from her husband the father and um there's like four parts to it where you know everyone has their own person you get a perspective of each person i think it was four don't quote me um but it was a couple of um parts um <clears throat> and each one is uh talked about a different um person in the story and another interesting thing is um in the beginning of the book it is written in second person and it doesn't stay in second person it shifts changes from first person second person and third person so it has all these different perspectives and you think and you know you have the perspectives of, of this perspective of the children and the father, and you think that this must be a mess. Absolutely not. This was very well written and very um, <clears throat> properly constructed uh, writing that really made everything work, blend perfectly. It made the story flow, and it made perfect sense. It really did. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the story is just, it flows beautifully with each other. There's so many things happening, but it makes so much sense. Excuse me. Sorry. Um, the book itself, the message behind it is very, very powerful. And I feel like a part of this, you know, message and why it's so powerful and has holds so much meaning um, and has so much impact on people 
is because of the writing and the way it has so many different perspectives so it could like reach different people um and that's why I found myself relating to it a lot not even a little a lot I related to it so much because you know we all have mothers um we all have done things that you know we regret doing or we don't like fully realize how much our mothers are amazing and how we take them for granted a lot um and this like really opens your eyes and gives you a whole new different perspective of your relationship with your mother um <clears throat> but um this book ha hold it brings out so many different emotions in you i remember I wasn't even two chapters in, it was probably two or three chapters in, and I was already tearing, already crying, and I went to call my mom because of this book. I wasn't even done. I didn't even finish the book, and I was already crying because, you know, it, it opens up. You, you would read something be like, oh my god, who would ever do that? And then if you think about it, you'd be oh, I probably did that. I did that too. And then you'd realize how awful for you to do that. And it makes you feel guilty. You re The children themselves in the book feel guilt of because of how they treated their mother. And that guilt, you feel it yourself because you've kind of done things like that. So that's why... I, um, I feel like a lot of people could relate to this and because like it's written in all the children's perspective you get different perspectives and basically you reach out to more people um, this book has so much going on like I said it may sound chaotic but it works beautifully Sorry, dry throat. Um, but um, back to more of the, the story. Um, the children, um, when in the process of trying to find their mom, they realize how they absolutely do not know anything about their mom. How they really don't um, know who she really is. And... <clears throat> The more you go into the story, the the main like part of the story is them having flashbacks or like looking at the past and their memories and seeing what kind of person their mom was. Um, you would um, they sometimes they would like think about some uh, memories, and in the moment they think, oh, that was weird. But when they look at it now as adults, they realize, oh, that's why. Um, and, and you know what, I feel like a lot of people have these moments, a lot of people, you know, in their, you know, childhood or in their teenages, they don't like realize what they're doing. But then as an adult, and when you look back, you really understand, you really understand, um, what, are, what, you know, your parents really are doing and you'd appreciate it more. And I feel like the author really wrote this book to help people realize you know you gotta take a, take care of your mother you you gotta understand you know how precious your mothers are um a lot of people ask the author you know a lot of people they would think about their mothers you know after they pass away what was the reason why you um made in this story your mom disappear and I thought that was genius question and I never really looked at it that way and the author thought you know why do we need to like think of our mothers you know after they pass away we need to take care of them as they are with us you know appreciating someone who dedicated their lives to us is the least that we can do treating them um, with the same kindness that they did is is something that we should do and um, I feel like the author really did want to emphasize on taking care of our mother a lot more than we we are now making us realize how important they are to us
And I have to um, warn you about something that the the only way you will find out what the um, the title of this book means is towards the end. It is at the very, very end of the book. And literally on the last page. Um, <laughs> and if you really want to understand the whole meaning, the whole message, the emotion, the connection, the me the whole shebang of it all, the powerful message behind it, you need to read this entire book. And I promise you, you will not be bored. There's a, it's a hefty amount. It is a lot of pages. I kid you not, as soon as I started reading it, I couldn't put it down. Because everything just flows so beautifully. Everything, the more you read, the more you want to know. Nothing is like cut off. It's just in sequence. Everything is flowing beautifully. Everything is blending. And, um... It makes you want to finish. It makes you want to know what happened to the mother. Like, we're learning all these new things about her. And there's some things that we don't understand. What happened? Um, and I feel like this book was an absolute masterpiece. This book was made with so much care and so much time and dedication and I think a lot of um, the author's emotions towards her mother was really put into this as well. I think she didn't want us to maybe do the same mistakes that she may have wanted us, uh, that she may have done, you know? She may have wanted us to, like, appreciate our mothers right now when they're, you know, with us before it's too late. Um, I don't want to spoil anything about the book. But all I could say is, is that this book was a work of art. I mean, the cover itself is a work of art. And I feel like the cover um, says a lot of the story. Um, I really would recommend it. I already recommended it to my mom. Um, because the same, time, the same uh, time I called her when I was, call, uh, when I was crying after reading like a chapter, um, I told her, you need to read this. Um, and she said she would take the book from me when I'm done. And she hasn't read it yet, but she will read it soon. I will recommend it to anyone and everyone. This book is something you need in your life. It's not, I really think that everybody should read this because this is how powerful the message and the emotion behind this book is. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed my review. Goodbye.